there is a lot of sensationalization that is going on of news. And I'm not into that. Oh. I'm into facts. Building one Guyana based on honesty, integrity, based on hard work, based on facts. President Irfan Ali, during a sideline interview on Thursday at the annual Guyana Defense Force Officers Conference, sharing his views on the recent bribery allegation against Vice President Bar Jagdio. Jagdia was interviewed by New York-based media entity Vice News on February 1, during which the reporter alleged that a number of Chinese businessmen have related that the only way to get business done in Ghana is to pay a bribe. Chinese businessman Su Jerome was identified as one such person. Describing Jerome only as an acquaintance and tenant of his, Jagdia vehemently denied the bribery allegations. According to Jagdeo, the entire interview was aimed at making the leaders of Ghana look corrupt and was intended to throw the country in the midst of an economic feud between China and the United States. On Thursday, President Ali revealed that his government has been gathering intelligence on the Vice News reporter. The same reporter did not even know what the Amalas Falls project is about, did not even know the name of roads, but came here and I heard I heard, because we got intelligence gathering too, I heard that the reporter had certain special interests. An allegation was made as president, so people called me and said that this reporter was having a special interest on a special group, was managed by a special group. The president called on the reporter to respond to his claims and to prove that she is not being managed by a special group. According to him, the reporter was ill-informed throughout the entire interview. This, he says, further cements the fact that she had a hidden agenda. He said that the, the vice president would change the constitution. What nonsense that that is the allegation. Somebody can just wake up and change the constitution. There is a process, that alone, and the, and the misinformation discredits her. He urged Guyanese to research both the media entity and the reporter and then make a judgment. The Chinese embassy has weighed in on the matter, stating that the Vice News reporter came to Guyana with a predetermined agenda and tried to smear and attack China-Guyana corporations as well as Chinese companies. The embassy said it is dissatisfied with and firmly opposes the violation of professional ethics by the reporter and maintained that Guyana-China relations remain firm. Meanwhile, leader of the People's National Congress Reform, Aubrey Norton, continues to agitate for a full police investigation into the allegations. For the HDP Nightly News, Kendall Richmond.